Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to essentially publish something in Adobe Captivate as a standalone project or more importantly how you can bring a published Swift file from Adobe Captivate and put it into Dreamweaver. This is for complete beginners and so right now and I'm actually working on a Mac but I have a Windows XP virtual machine running so um, hopefully that's not too confusing but I will switch between the two. So I have an example right here of a basic Captivate. This is Adobe Captivate 6. It has basically three slides, a title slide and quiz slides. I, I haven't spent any time on the content because really this is just about how do you publish this. So when you go to File and Publish, you'll notice that you have some options here. And so the first thing is you can publish as a Swift file or HTML5. And so the first thing you have to realize is Swift is basically Flash. So you would do want to publish as a Flash or HTML5 or do both. So you can do both. Now keep in mind that if you use certain interactions or certain features in Adobe Captivate, HTML5 will not work. So you want to do some research. But in this case it's a real basic one. I'm just going to keep the Swift file and that's it. And so you could export it to a PDF, but depending on, there are some limitations there. For instance, users who don't use Adobe Acrobat for their PDF might not be able to view some of the things that are published in that PDF. If you're going to upload it, for instance, to a learning management system, you might actually zip the files because then you can upload it, for instance, to Blackboard and select unzip or unpackage and that will work. Um, and there's a few other options here. Right now, I'm just going to leave this as is. You can also FTP directly to a server, but my experience, it's a little buggy with Captivate 6, and so I've not been able to do that. So in this case, if I wanted to upload it to my own server, um, whether it's a standalone project or integrated within Dreamweaver, I'm just going to use this Swift option. And like I said, sometimes I would choose the HTML5 as well, especially if mobile was important to me, especially for Apple devices, but right now, just Swift. The other thing I want to say before we move forward is always pay attention to the resolution of the project. If you're going to actually, and right now let's actually close this. So if I was going to actually put this as a standalone project and not put it within Dreamweaver, I'm going to want to make sure that my um, project is larger than this. So I'm going to go to Rescale and I'm going to hit Preset and I'm going to choose something like the Apple iPad 1024 option. So I'm going to hit Finish and it says the resets option cannot be undone. You should want to continue. I'm going to hit OK. So it's going to take a minute. And what we're going to do is we're going to publish this once it's done. OK. So now I'm going to go to File. And you can always play with Preview and some other things that's important. But in this case, I'm just going to hit Publish. Like I said, Swift, that looks good. 1024. And you could play with, if you wanted to, some of these preferences. And it's important to spend some time looking through these preferences, right? You want to add author information, other things here. But in this case, we're not worried about that. We're going to just hit Publish. And because this is basically just three slides, this is going to go real quick. If for some reason you had a larger Captivate vial that maybe had um, 50 slides, it'd take a lot longer. Do you want to view the output? I'm going to hit Yes. And so it opens in a browser. Like I said, this is a virtual machine on my Mac, so this is actually opening on Windows XP and Inner Explorer. And you can see that this is the basic file, right? And so I can um, go look at it, but it's basically it's an HTML5 called sample.htm, and then within that, there's actually a um, Swift file within that. So I would have two options when it comes to putting this in Dreamweaver. One option would be if I don't already have a functioning website, is I could just go open this file itself. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to hit pause as I go load this into Dreamweaver. I brought this into Dreamweaver. There's an HTML file. And it actually has the output has a standard JavaScript and then a CSS file. But if I look at the HTML, I can see that in there it's essentially just referencing this sample Swift file. So I'm just going to preview this and there it is. Right? So this is my file that basically I just published. And so what I can do now is you can see that this is the box and if I go to split view, right, this is where all my Captivate stuff is. So I don't want to mess with that but right above it this is where I could add 
my project, right? Or any other information I want to customize this page. I could also go into this Captivate CSS, and this is where I could, you know, do other things to the page if I wanted to, right? So maybe I want to add some styles to the page. I want to, you know, add a background color. So I'm going to add just some CSS here, background color, this. All right. So now let's save this and preview it. Refresh. And there it is. So obviously this is an ideal I'd work on the contrast, but you see you can basically take a cat tape file, you can publish it, but you can then still customize as you see fit this HTML file that it basically creates um, that's essentially kind of a wrapper, if you will. It's the background. Then the Swift files within it. But at the same time, once you publish that file, right, you still have that Swift file. So you could always still, rather than using the HTML file that they created, in Dreamweaver I could go to blank and I could create one of these um, options that they have. So let's find one with a fixed left side this one alright so I'm gonna hit create and so that's fine but what I need to do is now I'm just gonna delete this text here for this example and this is where I can go to insert media swift it says it wants me to save it before inserting so that's fine and I'm just gonna call this index and so now I find this Swift file. And so this is the one that I just published as is. I'm going to hit open. I'm going to give, um, you know, let's say that this was just a quiz I wanted to insert into my page. So let's preview this. But first thing you should notice is it's too big. And so that's why if ultimately if you're going to embed it in a page that already exists, you need to know the size that you want. So I just went and said, OK, it basically prompted me to add some JavaScript. And let's go here. It's going to take a minute to load. And that gives me this warning. And so then you can see that this is obviously way too big. You know, and one of the things you'll, you can play with and you can notice is, is it loading right? Is it loading on time? Is it slow? Are there things you can do? So the first thing I'm going to do is just focus on the size here. So I'm going to go back to Captivate. And this is where I'm going to go to rescale my project because this is entirely too big. And so I can look through here. I'm just going to go with 640. I'm going to finish it. Okay. And keep in mind there are still a number of other things to pay attention with publishing. If you wanted a table of contents, you can you know decide to get rid of certain buttons. So there's lots of more advanced things that you can do. But right now we're just going to keep Swift, Swift. This looks good. And we're going to publish it. And it asked, did I want to override my previous one? And I do. And so I'm going to um, view this. And actually, I don't even need to view it right now. What I need to do is I need to take the new file. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to sort by date and time. So this is my newest. I'm dragging it over to my Mac. And I'm going to jump back in Dreamweaver. So now I'm going to click on this. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to try to insert a new switch. Here it is. Obviously, you'd want to spend more time with accessibility. But now you see how this size fits a lot better in this page. And if this was the page I was going to use, you want to make sure that whatever your background is of your Captivate project works with the Dreamweaver project. But right now, let's save all. And let's preview. Okay, so there you can see it, and you can see the controls. And in this case, you notice how it—it's hard to tell where it ends and begins. And so you see this light gray background, and so you could tweak some of this stuff. But it's—it helps you. Um, and you could also, you know, play with making it play automatically. There are a lot of things you can do. But this is basically how, if you had just a short little interaction like a quiz that you created in Captivate and you wanted to put it into an existing Dreamweaver page, you would do it like this. You would export the Swift. You'd want to make sure it's a manageable size and the color and different things work well with it. And then in Dreamweaver, you would make sure that you go to insert 
Media Swift. The same way, you could always just export your entire project in Captivate and then add changes to it, whether it's just titling, background, or basic things that way. So then you would basically use Dreamweaver or your FTP client of your choice to upload these files to your personal web host. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you have a basic idea of some of your options when publishing in Adobe Captivate 6. Thanks.